So one of the magical moments was when I was working with one of my agents and they were having an issue with the deal. And we kind of talked about how to communicate so people felt heard and understood. So about a year later, she came to me and she actually said that that lesson helped her in how she was able to communicate better with her family and made a huge difference in her life. So I think the real magic happens when people realize that realtors do more than just list and sell homes. We manage a transaction from start to finish, and that can be kind of difficult sometimes when you've got a buyer, a seller, listing agent, selling agent, attorneys, inspectors, appraisals, title companies. You're only as good as your weakest link, and that's when the real magic happens. You see, magic can happen even through tragedy. A dear friend of mine, a realtor who had been in the business for many years, suddenly found herself as a widow, and she had three small children. The bills mounted, the frustration kicked in, so I thought what a great opportunity for Silent Angels to help out a fellow realtor member. What we found was Silent Angels wasn't needed in this case because the fellow realtors took care of her. But when I explained to her what Silent Angels was about, even though she didn't receive a dollar from Silent Angels, she was an immediate donor. See, magic can happen, even through tragedy. My personal magic moment was helping a 68-year-old woman who was homeless with children and helping her get into that house. And we've remained friends over the years. And she says there's not anything that she can put her mind to that she can't do. And that's what we do every single day. And I feel some of the magical moments I can provide for my customer is really just watching their child while they can walk around the house together and they can walk around and picture themselves there. And offering that couple minutes of peace for the parents I think is magical as it all leads up to them finding their home. <laughs>